Entrepreneurs, do you have a few minutes to learn how you can truly earn an executive level income with big ticket sales in the digital license industry? We're talking about 90% commissions on license fees for software, videos and eBooks in bundles of $250, $500, $1,000 and $2,000. You'd think that salespeople would be good at network marketing, but I've found that not to be true. Network marketing requires a different type of sales. The curse of great salespeople in network marketing a lot of times people get in network marketing and we tend to think that if someone is really good in sales, they're going to be amazing in network marketing and what is more amazing than our thought that they're going to be amazing is that in many cases, they are not. They are terrible. Why would it be that people who are great in sales end up being really bad in network marketing? They should naturally be good, wouldn't you think? In many cases, the opposite is true because in network marketing, what we do is about sales but it is a very different type of sales. Over the last 24 years, having built teams that have grown to over a million customers, personally enrolling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people over the years and being part of personally enrolling thousands for other people on the team, what I have noticed is that when someone comes in and they're a great salesperson, they tend to think they can take those sales skills and use that to sell and convince people to join. They can convince people to join, but what you have to understand about our profession is it's not about convincing people to join. It's not just about closing yes, you want to use your sales skills and your closing skills but what's really important is in network marketing, we have to do what duplicates, not just what works. You can only do what duplicates. I've seen people who won't take action because they somehow feel like it's not absolutely duplicatable. Leaders do things that are not duplicatable all the time, but great salespeople often will convince someone, close someone, and enroll that person in a manner that is not duplicatable at all. Even if they enroll that person, that person will not go have success because people tend to want to enroll other people the way in which they were enrolled. If you are doing a sales presentation, if you're getting on the phone explaining everything, and getting the credit card number, realize that is never going to duplicate. I learned this many, many years ago. I got to the point where I was a really good salesperson and I had personally enrolled 90 people into my organization in just a few months. We were great salespeople but there was no duplication you would think, wow. Personally enrolling 90 people in a few months, 